I forgot how to be in front of the camera. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is May. Insert Backstreet Boys clip. It's gonna be May. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about hair extensions. It's a video that has been on my list to make for a while now. And I recently saw that Barefoot Blonde Hair, the company that I purchased my last set of extensions from, is having their sale. It's gonna be in a week and I thought, what better time to talk about my hair extensions than when you can get them on sale. Without extensions, this is what my hair looks like. It's pretty thin. I don't have a lot of hair. It's like just past my collarbone. So before you order a set of extensions, Barefoot Blonde Hair has this really awesome program where you can order an at-home try-on kit. Every once in a while, they do a promotion where you can order your kit for free, so they'll also cover the shipping. The kit is free, but you have to pay for the shipping to your house. I got these samples last November-ish, probably. So you can order up to five samples. Comes in a little box like this. And then you have one little clip of each color that you select. So at the time that I ordered these samples, I was still blonde, I was contemplating going brunette, and so I was in between choices. And then it's great because the sample also comes with a little label on it. So you, once you've selected your match, it's a lot easier to order the extensions you want. So to color match your hair, what they say to do is put it at the bottom of your hair because that is what will be the easiest to match. However, I had a really hard time deciding because like this one, it is a pretty good match for the bottom of my hair. And at the top of my hair, it's a really good match as well. However, if you look on the website, you will see that the brunette part is really short at the top. And so it is mostly this blonde part and I would need the brunette part like halfway down my hair, which is why I did not choose this one. Isolate is their ombre sample and it's one of the only ombre sets they sell. So if you have ombre hair, I think Barefoot Blonde is kind of still coming up on that, having lots of variations. I also ordered this sample which is called Brond. So it looks pretty blonde still, and it actually does match the bottom of my hair really well. However, when you look up at the top, it is quite significantly lighter, and I don't really love that. I did not choose this one. Here are a couple more samples I got. The brown sugar, which looks like so, and then the peanut butter and jealous that is like so. These two colors are very similar, as you can see kind of a medium brown tone, but both of them had red undertones to them, which I do not have in my hair. So finally, the last sample I went with was brownstone. Oh. So the last sample I got was brownstone. This is the color I actually went for. When you look at the bottom of my hair, it does look a smidge darker, but it matches the top of my hair really well. Because my hair was previously blonde, I think the bottom of it has lightened up since I went back to brunette. So as soon as I can get into a salon again, I can just get it toned and it'll match much closer to this as it did when I first got my extensions. I also wanted to mention before showing you my full set of extensions that if you are unsure about what samples to get, Barefoot Blonde is super awesome because if you are in the Arizona area, they do offer in-house appointments that you can go do. You probably can't do it until they reopen again because of everything going on. However, they do also offer Skype appointments, so you just book a time and then you get 20 minutes and they'll ask you to move around your house and show you their your hair in the daylight and they're really great at suggesting a few colors. And then you can go ahead and order your sample kit and choose best from there. So moving on to the extensions. When they arrive, they arrive in this adorable pink bag. It is leather, it's so beautiful. It's also really great to put your extensions in when you're traveling. So I decided to go with the classic full set in the color brownstone. And this is how much hair you get. So the full set is 21 inches of hair. It's quite long, which I love. As you can see, the bottom of my hair does look like it doesn't quite match it. But once I put them in and they're curled or in a hairstyle, I don't think anyone has noticed. You get two four clips, like so. I have a very tiny head, and so 
when I wear my full set, I can really only wear one of the clips at a time, one four clip at a time. You also get two three clips that look like so. You get two two clips like so. You also get four one clips. So I wanted to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison. The samples they send out come with the braided weft that they used to do, and then the new ones, the new extensions they have are the seamless weft. I'll show you side by side the difference in the thickness of what they look like and why that is gonna be really great for when you're putting them in your hair. And then I just wanted to show you how great these clips are. They're super easy to insert and I think they're really, really sturdy and are gonna last you quite some time. So I figured you guys also might wanna see how easy it is to insert and what it looks like when they're all in. Keep in mind, my head is a little bit small and so I don't use every single clip on my head. I use a little clip just to hold my hair up and get it out of the way. I just section off a small part at the bottom to start. Twist it up. And then I start with the three clips. So one three clip. So there's one clip in. Just taking another three clip. So then I take my one four clip. This one should still go below your ear line. That will be the widest part of your head and then it'll still be easy to cover and you won't have an issue of it showing. If you have a larger head, you might be able to get another one in there. So then on the size, it kind of just depends on the day, but usually I'll put the two clips in on the side. I don't have a lot of hair on the left side of my head, so this two clip is the last thing I put in and I try and make sure that there's still a lot of hair on top to cover it. And another two clip on this side. Normally, if I was gonna style my hair with my full set of extensions in, I would curl it while my extensions are clipped in. A lot of people curl their hair and then curl the extensions, but I find that it just doesn't blend as well then because you can see where your hair ends a lot easier than when you curl it all together as one piece. That's just something I like to do, personal preference. Something else that you might wanna do depending on how long you plan on wearing your extensions or if you plan on sleeping in them or anything like that, to make them stick a little bit easier, you'll wanna back comb the piece of hair that you're attaching the clip to. That way it has something to grab onto, especially if your hair is freshly cleaned. I don't really like to do that. I hate combing out the back combing. I would just rather reinsert my extensions or anything like that. This is what my hair looks like with the extensions in. As you can see, much, much longer, a lot thicker on top. It just gives you a lot more hair to play with in terms of creating hairstyles. I love adding my extensions for fuller hairstyles. I love adding them for braids and I just think it's a lot of fun, especially if you are like me and you didn't grow up with a lot of hair or you had a sister who did have a lot of hair and you were very jealous of. I think extensions are a really great way, especially clip-in extensions, to change up your look, try something new, especially without the commitment of permanent extensions or like a weave or anything like that. So as I mentioned, the color definitely is a little bit darker than my natural hair, but once they're in and curled together, I think that it is a lot harder to tell. I think if you're staring, there is some slight noticeability of difference in color. However, like I said, once I, once I go and get my hair toned again at the salon, I think it'll be really a perfect match again. If you guys are interested in some clip-in extensions, I'm gonna link Barefoot Blonde Hair down below. I think they're a really great company. Amber Fillerup, who owns the company, is such a sweetheart, and I think she's doing an amazing job. And to find out more about Barefoot Blonde Hair, you can always check out their Instagram, send them an email, or read what is on their website. If you guys like this video, I really wanna do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Barefoot Blonde Full Set Extensions, the Barefoot Blonde Up, and the Barefoot Blonde Fill-Ins. I have some fill-ins on the way, and I hope that I can purchase the Up during their sale that's coming up. And I would love to do a side-by-side -side comparison, so if you guys would find that helpful, 
please let me know in the comments down below and I will see you again next week.